Yeah, trees, I mean, everybody understands, I think, that you count the rings in a tree to know how old it is. One ring equals one year. That's that's pretty standard stuff. But it's, it's when you start matching trees together to build up a picture of growth patterns throughout history, that's when it becomes interesting. So you find a ring in a tree that matches a ring in another tree, but that was cut down a long time ago, but was known to be X number of years old then. And then you've got those two bits, if you imagine the records then overlap, say, like that. You've got that bit of that tree, and then you've got another 100 or 150 years in that tree. And then if you've got another one, you get another one again, and you get a sort of climate record, because you can say, we now know that that's the year 1798, and it was a good summer, because count back the right number of rings, get to that summer, lots of growth, ace, good summer. Um, it's not about sort of environmentalism so much, it's about knowing what the patterns of the weather had been, and it's all recorded in trees. They're like the sort of, it's, it's a very simple idea, they're like the punch tapes of climatic history. It's all those sticks that ancient tribes had with, you know, the whole history of their people in 36 notches and a squiggle. It's that sort of thing. It's good. And then you can use it to date anything that's made of wood, because once you've done a lot of this, you have records that are available to all researchers saying this summer produced this size ring, this pattern was from this part of the 19th century. And then if you find that pattern in something like the rafters of the roof of an old building or the structure of a ship or even I suppose something that's been repaired at a later date, you can date that bit of wood and know when that happened. But what it doesn't tell you of course is if that was done using a piece of wood that was from a tree that was 200 years old but cut down 50 years previously. So it all gets quite complicated. But it's good. It's a lot better than just going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. this tree is 53 years old. Or was, but now you've cut it down, obviously. Have you ever carved anything into a tree? I've never carved my name in a tree, I don't think. Well, I've carved it into a desk, which was made from a tree, but not actually into the living tree. I have whittled things out of bits of tree, though, when I was a kid with a penknife. I know it sounds like something from Jess William, but we were very poor. Um, so a piece of wood and an old penknife that you found on the beach was several months of entertainment. The cameraman's nodding because he did it as well. Yeah, I don't know how old Jeremy Clarkson's head is. Um, if I knew more about prehistory, I'd probably be able to date it by working out what sort of dinosaur it is, but I don't, so the alternative, I suppose, would be to cut it in half and count rings. Uh, and I would imagine there are a couple of hundred thousand 